envy is sorrow or sadness over another's good because that is considered as taken away from us so envy is sorrow or sadness over another's good and that is considered as if it is taken away from you from me from us so that is another definition which saint thomas aquinas gives we can be envious of someone else of their reputation their beauty their appearance their style their, sh- their size their uh, color their goodness their talents and we can be envious of their wealth their look their popularity and then accordingly they, we can behave so these are the explanation about definition about envy or jealousy and it is dangerous this cardinal sin affects when affects us very badly because the pride and jealousy goes together pride is the door for all the cardinal sins even other sins pride is the door so once the pride is there there is a possibility that you may have uh lust and also gluttony and the third one is envy pride leads us to all these let us read how this jealousy was manifested in the life of uh you know lucifer the evil one the fallen angel this pride was there inside of him this pride was leading lucifer into jealousy you know god and lucifer i mean the fallen angels they were all so connected and the angels were able to see god face to face they were able to worship but suddenly they thought one day this fallen angel the head of the choir and he uh, he thought like this in his heart what did he think isaiah 14 was 13 we read like this you said in your heart i will ascend to heaven i will raise my throne above the stars of god and i will sit on the mount of assembly on the heights of zaphon was 14 i will ascend to the tops of the clouds i will make myself like the most high i will become like him i will mix myself in the position of god so he was jealous of god he was jealous of his ability he was jealous of his seat he was jealous of his position he was envious about his position of god he was envious of the position and the power of god he was envious about the seat of god so he wanted to get that position he wanted to get that seat that is called the envy and that was the reason why he was thrown out of heaven and now the same envy comes to us when we have a desire to get the position of somebody when we see they are all high higher than you you want to replace them you feel like replacing them sitting on their seat and just chase them out this is jealousy or envy we know you know uh, uh, the fallen angel the lucifer he wanted to possess the place of god and therefore he desired to get the seat of god but he lost it not only lost the seat but also lost the seat in heaven and he was thrown down from heaven now when he came down to this earth he made sure that human beings also lose this connection because when he came to paradise he saw adam and eve are having building up a very good relationship with god which he doesn't have sometimes back he had this relationship with god but now he lost it but now adam and eve they have replaced his position they are close to god and god is close to them and then lucifer he was so jealous of them envious of adam and eve he wanted to break their relationship with god he wanted to break their relationship with god and that is why he came and tempted them and said did god say like this then she said yes and then he said god is lying you will not die you eat the fruit don't worry 
see he is trying to break the relationship with god so always remember envy or jealousy will break our relationship with god envy or jealousy will break our relationship with god and that is the intention of the evil one so this is the first thing that you need to remember envy or jealousy the aim of devil is to break our relationship with god if you read in the new testament when jesus was tempted in the wilderness what was the aim of the devil the satan came and tempted jesus why because jesus has got very strong relationship with his heavenly father jesus has got very strong relationship with his heavenly father therefore satan came and tempted in order to break this relationship satan wanted jesus to disobey his father so that their relationship will be broken and therefore satan came and said if you want you can make these stones into bread why don't you eat then jesus said my father's will i should obey my father that is more important for me and by in you know, all the three temptations jesus reestablished his connection with the god the father and thus the satan was defeated the best way to defeat the satan is reestablish your connection with god reestablish your connection increase your connection with god when you feel tempted when you are tempted by evil from all the corners then don't stop your prayer life don't stop your fasting prayer and penances and mortification increase it double it by reestablishing your connection with god the devil will be defeated because ultimately the aim of devil the reason why devil is tempting us is he is jealous of your connection with god he when he comes to know you are so close to god he wants to destroy it that is why many people say the more i pray the more i come closer to god the temptation are more why because the more you pray the more you are connected the more you are connected the devil doesn't want this connection to be established he want to break it that is why the, those who are more close to god they will have more temptations more disturbance because devil is so angry that you are so connected when you have more connections be be happy so uh, when you have more temptations be happy why because that is a clear sign that you are more connected to god your relationship with god is more strong and therefore make it reestablish re- uh, make it more strong and then the devil will be defeated then you have to increase your mortification penances and and all those uh, prayers you will see the devil will be defeated and that is the only way we can defeat the devil